I found the best AI tool when it comes to marketing. Instead of using something like ChatGPT with a sloppy dashboard and limited organization, you could use Jasper AI. Jasper AI is an AI content generator that can help you break through those creative blocks and create amazing original content 10 times faster. Jasper AI is a great tool for creating Facebook ads, web content, blogs, social media posts, you name it. Now, before we jump into this video, I want to say that this video is not sponsored by Jasper AI, but if at any point in this video, you decide you wanna try out Jasper AI for yourself, I highly recommend using my link in the description. You'll receive 10,000 bonus credits. That way you can see if Jasper AI is something you want to use long-term. Also, I will receive a little bit of a kickback, so it's mutually beneficial. So if you are looking to do more with less, then stick around and see if Jasper is for you. So when you log into Jasper, you will be brought to this very simple yet powerful dashboard. Right away, you will notice that they are giving you steps to get started and earn free credits as you go. I've already completed the Get to Know Jasper and I've received 3,000 extra credits. Eventually, I'm going to become an expert and gain these 51,000 extra credits. Now, just a very quick reminder, if you do want to earn 10,000 bonus credits, then use my link in the description. That's probably one of the easiest ways to earn 10,000 extra credits. So the dashboard is very simple. And when you look over at the navigation bar here on the left, you will notice many tabs in different areas. Above dashboard, you have a spot where you can manage your projects. When you click into this, you can see all of your existing projects here and you can even create new projects. If you want to get an overhead view of all your projects, you can hit see all projects. So when you create a new project, it's almost like you're creating a new folder. This is great for different projects that you're working on and it's a very good way to stay organized on Jasper. Now beneath dashboard here on the left, you'll see a templates button and this is what gives Jasper its edge on all of its competitors. Jasper has 50 plus templates, so whatever need you have, Jasper has you covered. When you click into templates, you can view it from an overhead view and view all of these templates at once or you can go into specific categories to see what will work best for you. If you see a template that you like, I recommend hovering over the top right corner and marking it as favorite. As you can see on this page, I've already marked three as my favorite, so they will highlight them in yellow to make them easier to see. And when you go to all templates, they will populate to the top of the page. So the templates are amazing and it's what makes me love Jasper so much. Later in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize these templates for your marketing purposes. Now below the templates, we have chat. Chat is just like ChatGPT. You can enter in a prompt and send it off and it will answer it just as ChatGPT would do. Next up, we have the Documents tab and documents are just another way of organizing data and information. The documents and the templates kind of work together in unison. Let me show you what I mean by that. If I hit Create New Document, you can see that it will give you two options to start. You can select a workflow, which will write specific content from start to finish for you from a step-by-step -step process, or you can freeform with any template, which I love to do. I'm going to hit start from scratch, and after it loads, it will take you to this page that looks somewhat like a Google Doc. You can add specific headers, change text decoration, upload images, link text, and more. The great thing about this document editor is it's like Google Docs with superpowers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you hover over the top here and go to chat mode, you can see that Jasper chat will populate beside the document. Here you can enter prompts and copy and paste them into your document where you see fit. Next, if we navigate our attention back up top, my personal favorite mode is power mode. When you click on power mode, you'll see that it populates all sorts of workflows and all the templates on the left-hand side here. Now, when you click into one of these templates, let me click video titles, for example, it will pull up a step-by-step -step process to generate AI content for you. Now we are going to dive into how to use these templates more in depth a little bit later, but let me show you the rest of the dashboard. Underneath documents, you'll see recipes. You can click on recipes, and these recipes are basically like tutorials on how to get the most out of Jasper AI. The cool thing about this is you can check out recipes that others have created from the community, you can check out Jasper's recipes, or you can create your own recipes. Next, I want to show you how to actually utilize this for your marketing needs. Let's say hypothetically that I own a software that helps agencies track their metrics, communicate with their clients, and manage their projects. And after months of working on this software, I am ready to launch. Now let's see how Jasper AI can help me write Facebook ads, cold email campaigns, and social media posts in order to help launch this software. So the first thing you want to do is head up to this project tab and hit the drop down. Here you can create a new project and I want to create a new project for this company launch. So when you hit new project, you can name your project and give a description. Let's say my fake company name is Agency Insights. 
The description is optional, but after you have your name, you can hit save project. And now in the upper left hand corner, you'll notice that it says agency insights launch. So that means that you're in this specific project. The first thing that I wanna do is create a Facebook ad campaign for this launch. So I'm going to navigate to templates and I'm going to use one of my favorite templates, the ADA framework. The ADA framework is a very powerful method of marketing. It's very traditional. It was created in 1898 and it is still being used today. So it shows the power of this framework. The ADA framework stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. So now you have a step-by-step -step process you can follow in order to generate your Facebook ad copy. First, it's going to ask you for your company slash product name. So mine is Agency Insights. So I'm going to type in Agency Insights. Next, it will ask you for a product description. So it's important to be specific and give a good description for your product or service. Okay, cool. Now that you have your product description typed out, you can choose the tone of your voice that you want to display for these Facebook ads. I'm going to type in urgent but friendly. Down at the bottom of the screen next to this generate button, you can choose how many inputs do you want. I usually leave it at three, but you can do more or less depending on your desire. Now I'm going to hit generate. And just like that, it has generated three different outputs. After reading these, I realized that I liked the first two the best. So what I'm going to do is copy the second one and open this first one in documents. And now it will bring you back to the power mode that I was showcasing earlier. And I just realized that copying that input was a little unnecessary because when you scroll down, you can see them all right here. So let's say I wanna paste this second framework into the document as well. So maybe we can split test these two ad copies. What I would do is enter down to make sure my mouse cursor is lined up where I want this text to be. Next, I could hit paste it document cursor. And as you can see, it will quickly pull that into the document. And the great thing about power mode is that if you are feeling like doing more copy, then you can easily enter your company name and a different product description with a different tone of voice and then generate more AI content. Next, it's time to hide the ADA framework, go into focus mode and clean up your document. So what I'm going to do is hover over focus mode and hit focus mode. And now I can clean up this document to make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Next, I'm going to enter down a couple and give this document a header. And now I can enter down some more and give each of these individual copy sections their own headers. And boom, just like that, we have a very nice space where we can come in here and copy and paste all of this information into Facebook when we're ready to launch our ads. Next, to stay more organized, head up to the upper left-hand corner here and name your document. I'm going to name mine Facebook ad copy for launch. And once you're done naming it, you can click into some empty space and now go back to all documents. As you can see, we are in the Agency Insights launch project and we can go to our documents here and see all of our documents that we have listed out. So now that we are finished with the Facebook ad copy for the launch, let's say we want to start making our personalized cold email campaign. For this cold email campaign, I'm going to show you a little bit different way to get started rather than going to the template section first. Let's say I'm ready to get started making and personalizing my cold email campaign. You can head over to the documents section here. And once you're in documents, you can see your Facebook ad copy that you've just created, but go to the upper right hand corner and select new document. Here, just as I was showing you earlier, you can either select a workflow or freeform with any template. And I'm going to freeform with any template and hit start from scratch. Now this will open up a fresh document. You can navigate to the top of the page and select power mode. When you're on power mode, you can see certain workflows over here and your saved templates as well as other templates. In my favorites, I have personalized cold emails already favorited. So I'm going to select that in order to start generating my personalized cold emails. And just as we did before, you can follow this step-by-step -step process in order to generate a personalized cold email. So I'm going to copy and paste my previous description I typed in about my hypothetical company. And now I'm going to fill out the rest of this information. Now at this part, it is very important to know that this is the personalization of the email. This kind of speaks to who are you targeting? Let's say I'm trying to target agency owners who live in Florida. Now, after providing this context, it will personalize the email much more. Now for the tone of voice, I'm going to put friendly and relaxed. I think it's important for these emails to seem very personalized, very friendly, and very laid back in order to convert well. And here they even have language options to translate into certain languages. And again, you can select the number of outputs you want to generate. And I'm just going to leave it to three and hit generate AI content. 
And just like that, in about a matter of 10 seconds, it has generated these beautiful personalized cold emails. You can even get more personalized with these first underscore name and your underscore name templates if you have that set up in your cold email software. Now, after reading through some of these, I am a big fan of the first one that it generated. So now I can hit paste document cursor and it will send it to my document. Now, the thing about an email campaign is that you can't just have one personalized email. You need to have multiple follow-up emails. That is why we are going to use Jasper Chat in order to generate a couple of follow-up emails for this campaign. So if you scroll up on the left side of your screen here, you can head to Jasper Chat. Another way you can get to this section is by heading to the top of your screen and enter chat mode. Next, I'm going to ask Jasper Chat to generate follow-up emails for this email. I'm going to copy this email. And after I've asked Jasper Chat to write me two follow-up emails that follow this email, I'm going to paste it in there, get rid of some of this big empty space. Now I'm going to send off this prompt and what Jasper Chat is going to do is generate me another two emails for my personalized cold email campaign for my product launch. I'm going to send it off. And now Jasper Chat is working on generating me two more emails. Just like that, they've populated in, and these are different than this one, and they are both follow-up emails. So now we have a full campaign. Once again, on the right side of your screen in your doc, get your cursor to where you want to paste both of these emails, and then head down to the bottom of the prompt and hit paste a document cursor. It will automatically prompt in, and now it's time to get organizing once again. So head up to focus mode and select focus mode. And once again, you can organize and sort your document according to your needs. Now that this is done, I recommend going in the upper left-hand corner and naming your document for better organization. I'm going to name mine Cold Email Campaign for Launch. Now you can click in some empty space. The great thing about Jasper is you can edit this content anytime you want. So even if it's not generating specific content that you want, it helps you break down those creative blocks and create original content 10 times faster. Now let's go back to our documents page. And as you can see, now we have our cold email campaign that's ready for launch and our Facebook ad copy that's ready for launch. Now let's say along with this cold email campaign and these Facebook ads, I also want to schedule out some social media posts. So when I am busy after my software launches, I can quickly navigate over to my documents and grab the captions from there. So now I'm going to navigate back over to the templates section and I'm going to find Tweet Machine. Now when I click on Tweet Machine, it's going to bring me to this page and it's going to have the ability to generate viral tweets for Twitter. If you're a business or a company, it's very important to stay active on your social media. But when I'm busy, the last thing I wanna be thinking about is finding content to post on these platforms. So here it's going to guide you through a step-by-step -step process. It's going to ask you, what is your tweet about? And it's going to ask you the tone of voice. I've got something copy and pasted from earlier. So I'm going to copy and paste it in here. My tweet is about the launch of Agency Insights. So let's say I just want my next 10 tweets to be about my software launch and I don't wanna to have to think about the captions. Well, next I can choose a tone of voice and it will generate me multiple captions. For the tone of voice, I'm going to select witty. Again, if you are international or have an international audience, you can change the language that it's promoting out. So next I'm going to hit generate. And now it has generated me three outputs with 10 captions in each. So it's generated me 30 captions in total that I can edit and choose from and make my own. I like these top ones. So next I'm going to hit open in documents. And now just like before, you will be in this document editor and now you can hit focus mode. Now we have these 10 captions to work with and you can organize them in the order you wanna post them in. So just like our other documents, now head up to the upper left-hand corner and rename this document just to stay organized. I named mine social media captions for launch. Now you can head back and see all of your documents that are ready to go so that you are prepared for this launch. And if you want to, you can head back into your projects database, add new projects. You can hit the see all projects. And here you can even add collaborators if you want to add certain collaborators to different projects. And this overall is a great way for you and your team to hammer down with AI content generation. So this was a tutorial on AI marketing for beginners, and I am just touching the surface. I've only showed you three of the 50 plus templates that Jasper has to offer. Again, if you are interested in using Jasper at all, I recommend using my link in the description to receive 10,000 bonus credits. That way you can see if Jasper AI is something you want to use long-term. I will be coming out with more Jasper content. So if you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And I do read all the comments. So if you have good or bad feedback, I'd love to hear it. I'm always open to improving my videos. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.